Donor Appreciation Night here on the Warner Rentals Court and the Tournament Capital Center as a TRU Wolfpack honoring and recognizing all the great benefactors that helped make this program such a success. On the court, huge basketball game on the men's side, a rematch of last year's Canada West Final, the University of Calgary Dinos taking on our own TRU Wolfpack. Wolfpack get off to a great start. It's Luke Morris who speeds to the basket. It's up, hangs around, but doesn't go in. It's the Dinos, though, who draw first blood. David Kapinga cashes in. Calgary up 4-2 until Derek Rhodes drains a three-pointer. It's 5-4 TRU. Then it's Joe Davis with the stutter step. The Pack go on a bit of a run. They lead 7-4 until Thomas Cooper drains a three with authority. TRU leads 9-7. Calgary's David Kapunga with the layup and we are tied. Until rookie guard Madhu McConnell from Victoria with the hoop and the harm, it's 12-9. Game is tied till Trent Monkman, who had 20 points for TRU last weekend against Fraser Valley, unloads and gets the three-pointer. Mr. Burns would be happy about this, Mr. Smithers. Pack up 17-14. Late in the first half, Vladdy Igorov goes up. Mike grew up, though, with the follow-through. Just before the buzzer, Derek Rhodes with another three. He has eight points. Dinos lead 28 to 26. Teams exchange points in the second quarter. Ruwalt goes up again, draws the foul. It's 30-29. Then the hook shot from Joe Davis give him four. Pack take the lead 31-30. The Dinos did a masterful job of containing TRU's big man, Vladdy Igorov, in the first quarter. He starts to awaken here in the second. This bucket gives him seven on the night. 36-32 TRU with seven to go in the first half. At the other end, it's David Kapinga. This gives him nine. TRU leading with five to go, 36-35. Here's a historic moment for TRU rookie big man Ryan Miller. His first two Canada West points to give TRU a 42-38. Mike Ruolt has had a great season. Another key bucket here, it's 44-38. But Calgary sticking around, it's Johnny Veroni. Dinos down 44-40 at the half. Derek Rhodes has established himself as a pretty fair three-point shooter. He gets another one, giving him 11 points. TRU up by one, it's 53-52. The score seesaw. Calgary ties it up at 61 in the dying stages of the third. On this layup by Max Sell. he had seven after three quarters. Down 63-62 until this buzzer beater by Matt Hugh McConnell. He has eight points. TRU leads 65-63 going into the final quarter. Dinos pull even early in the fourth. It's Kapunga with the three. It's tied at 68. And Calgary starts to pull away a dish to number 12, Mitch Lidgerwood. Eight at this point for him. Dinos up by six, 76-70. Dying stages and TRU's offense goes cold. Evidence here by Rhodes having his shot bounce around. Then it's Thomas Cooper putting an exclamation point on this one. The Dinos beat the Wolfpack 84-76. If you look at them statistically overall, they shoot at 29% as a team tonight. They shot at 58%. Uh, at the half, they shot at 83% from three. Um, you know, they shot the ball really well. I think the second thing was that we got outworked for a good part of the first half. They really did outwork us. They out-rebounded us 26-15 at the half. And, uh, you know, we had to have a little chat at halftime and, and change the way we're doing some things to make sure that we were guarding them maybe a little differently. Even in the third quarter, they hit a bunch of threes and, uh, you know, they're a good basketball team. They work hard and I know Coach Clark does a good job with them. So they're, they're a good team. They're going to be a tough out in playoffs. I just thought that uh, they were tougher than we were. I don't think it's shooting. I mean, it's we didn't do a very good job. I think they scored seven of the first eight possessions to start the third quarter and that's that's the ball game and against a good basketball team and they are a good basketball team you can't you can't just melt down uh, you, you have to battle every single possession and uh, you know I, I thought that, that stretch killed us